Righty ho. We're live. Can you hear me? Can you hear me? There's Baxa. Yeah. What are we at today? Um, digging in a trench here to put some electric wire. All the fences, the new fences we've been getting done, they're all finished now. Guys are gone. But I don't know whether they forgot to do a trench under here for electric wire to carry it from that wire to that top wire or whether um, it was too hard. Uh, anyway, I phoned them up and I may as well do it because I've got a digger. There's no point in them coming back while we digger and doing it all. So I just need to link up. This side is currently live. I'm not going to touch it. That side is technically live because this loops away down the bottom, right the way around and then up here. So it is live a little bit. You can just feel it. I'll touch it. Hopefully it's not got any stronger. No, it hasn't. I can just feel it. But hopefully once I trench a wee cable in here, join up both ends, it'll be a lot stronger. Finish the loop. Right, what comments got? Hello, what am I destroying today? This is what I've just been destroying. I've been using the, the front pivot on the digger there to offset it so I can get in about here because it's kind of, the size of it is overkill for this wee job. It doesn't really fit in the gateway. Uh, morning Clifford, um, NFP Farm Life. Can you get a shout out? There you go. Um, will there be a new video on YouTube today? Yes, there will be. Morning, 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 morning from Liverpool. Back, sir. Here's the dug. Growing, growing fast. Sit, sit. Brilliant. <laughs> sit. There we go, good man. He's a bit of a nutcase. There may be another um, dog on the way. No comment. Um, so fence is done. This gate here. It swings across and closes off to that post. I can't swing it right now because the digger's in the way. But that is so that when there's cattle in there or cattle up at the yard, this is where a new shed's grown up at this yard, I can run them up here, up the road, and they won't turn and head down the road because we'll shut that gate. So that's going to be handy. Don't need to faff about with trailers or putting pens up in here to catch them. Just hook them up the road into the shed. Shed is um, ordered, which is good gates are all the handling and gates is all ordered um, as of two three days ago so fingers crossed we'll get it all sorted for cows coming off of grass in the autumn in that case update on wonky calf wonky calf is now outside so the youtube videos you're watching normally i'm like a week and a half behind i'm slowly catching up there's days where i've not been filming stuff so i can catch up so wonky calf is out doing well you'll see the cows go out soon enough and um, what else we got here morning from germany what's the weather like in germany when's this new shed going up so um the stuff up there to demolish and um, starting to be flattened obviously it all needs to arrive um, it's going to be up going going up summertime basically and um, we'll be quite busy with harvest so it's mostly we're, we're not going to be doing any of the kind of building ourselves. and um, we'll have ian ralston who will do the groundworks for it all um, and then we'll have sna who the shed is getting bought from or is getting ordered from they're going to put the shed or they're going to manufacture the shed put the shed up with a squad same squad that built our last shed because we asked for that squad because they were top dollar top notch yeah top dollar as well um so they'll put it up all the gates and whatnot are all ordered from bateman we've also got a separate cattle crush coming so that'll be good that's quite interesting you'll see a few videos on that because i'm quite excited about that bit of news with that um and then the floor again will be done by ian ralston local contractor so he'll do the concrete floor same as same as the shed at home basically the grain store we're just doing exactly the same as what we did before but it's a little bit more complicated because it's a cattle shed and there's there's water there's gates it's not just four walls and a roof and a floor grain store was so much easier anyway we think we've got the design pretty bang on but there'll be a few things once we're up and running we thought oh should have done this should have done that but never going to get it all right but hopefully we've got as much as we can Morning from Kerry Muir, uh, 15 degrees, where was it? Germany, 15 degrees, yeah, it's, it's probably about 8 here, it's not very warm. Morning from Limerick, Limerick, is that in Ireland? 
don't know. Uh, how's that cow that was a nutter, the black and white one? She actually calmed down a bit, to be fair to her. Um, I was probably in a wee bit swift when she was just calved. She was a bit, she just calved. She was a bit hormonal all over the shop. So she's calmed down, but there's one with an ear tag called 55. She's outside now, so it's not that bad. But every, time, every single time I went in that pen, she just charged at me. So if any of them go, it'll be her. The black and white one, I'll actually probably keep because... She was just new on the farm, so she was still settling in. Wasn't quite um, fully settled in when she calved. Wasn't quite fully happy with me being about. So hopefully next calving, she's a lot better. Falkirk here. All right, okay, not far away. Morning from Banff. I don't know where that is. Um, morning from Alice Sky. What's your favourite cow breed? Um, a lot of people suggest loads of different breeds from sailors. And there's quite a few in England that have, what are they called? Um... What are they? Flipping heck. Baldy's far ha farm has them. It starts with an S as well. Someone will know. Put it down below. What are they called? Flipping heck. I can't remember. Um, but we've got Simmentals. I quite like the Simmentals. There you go. Stabilizers. Stabilizers. A lot of people ranting and raving about stabilizers. We bought Simmentals. They're quite easy going, relatively calm cattle. Got on well with them so far, so I'm just going to stick with them. There's no crazy thinking of why we did this and why we did that it was just they seem quite calm and nice natured so we bought some simmentals and now we've got simmentals we'll probably stick with simmentals and um, do you do potatoes we don't grow any potatoes ourselves there is potatoes every year growing on our ground so we put away um 50 60 acres every year for spuds it's a good rotation potatoes pay, pay quite well to be fair only kind of downside to the spuds is when they come and lift them the conditions can be yeah, pretty rough and pick up, make a right mess of the field but the guys we're working with um, Bailey they're quite good at kind of just keeping on top of it and if they do make a mess they'll come in with a grubber and tidy it up because at the end of the day they're trying to get the ground to grow potatoes on so they have to look after the fields they're, they're going in and out of so they get them the next year so it works quite good how much acre is your farm? how many acres? we farm about 1,200-1,300 acres or so and then of that, there's maybe 100, 100 acres that get put away every year for whether it's potatoes or some carrots. There's a field of peas over that direction this year going in. Peas are the cheapest paying, but they give you the benefit of uh, nitrogen fixing into the ground. So the crop after the peas is always really good. Um, carrots and potatoes pay fairly well. Um, Good morning from Norfolk, sunny Norfolk. Yeah, no flipping sun here. Am I getting a new truck or defender? Why would I need a new truck or new defender? I've got a defender which, yes, it's completely shot and doesn't work, but it gets me from A to B. There's a lot of things to fix on it. I'd love to put a new chassis on it eventually, um, but, oh, God, you, you start that job and, oh, flipping heck, where's Baxter going? Right, I'm going to need to find this Doug. <whistles> Baxter! He's a bandit. Oh, here he comes. He's some Doug. Hey, sit. Good boy. Lie down. Lie down. Good boy. <laughs> Morning from Devon. Hello, Chris. A uh, farmer near me had a bike race in his field. Sadly, he he probably used more fuel towing all the vans through the mud than he got for renting out his fields. <laughs> yeah, my cousins are in Fife. They've got a a, a, a bike track, and um, they got and get on. It's only open through the winter. It's quite sandy, so the water drains quite well. But we make a bike track out here, will we? Now I'll just keep cows on it. I am impressed that you have such a vast breadth of knowledge. Well, that's probably not that true. You, I only speak about the things I know about. All the other stuff I don't mention, don't have a clue about. And most of the time I'm just waffling away. Um, um, from calving to welding. There's a few things you kind of need to know as a farmer, but I'm getting there, learning it as I go. What do I think of the digger? Good question. I'm not sure. I'm joking, it's absolutely brilliant. Like, we should have had a digger years ago. 
Uh, so many wee jobs done just the last month. I've got, I think we fixed one, two, three, four, five, five bits of drain pipe, or yeah, they were all drain pipe. Five bits of drain pipe, a septic pipe. Um, I'm just doing this job. Um, oh, there's like endless lists of jobs to do with it. I'm just getting this thing done here. Once this is done, we're going to shift it along the road to yard one. I'm at yard two right now. If we get it shifted to yard one, there's a leak in a field that was just sown. So I want to get up and get that fixed before the crop starts to come through. It's just on the edge, so I won't make much of a mess. Get that fixed. A few other jobs to do at home. And then that's kind of all the urgent jobs needing attended. And then we can just work our way around doing odd jobs. Like all the corners of fields could do with a, a bit of topsoil just because they've all as you're pulling soil, soil out of them over the years, they sink down and we could do with getting 500 tonne, 1,000 tonne of topsoil in and just working away at that over the next couple of years, get all the corners sorted. And there's quite a lot of corners when you add up all the fields. I don't know how many fields there'll be in total. There'll be ballpark 40 fields um, and hardly any of them only have four corners. So it's a fair few corners to add up. Um, how far away from Pentland biomass plant? I don't know where that is. So I can't tell you how far away. Favourite tractor brand? I don't really have a favourite. I'm not, you'll be able to tell we're not brand loyal. We've got Hitachi, Digger, JCB forklift. The forklifts are the only thing that are probably quite brand loyal, the JCB, big fan. Um, we've got um, New Holland tractor, Fent tractor, class combine a class baler uh, ugh, if it's good we'll get it we've got stuart trailers like to get stuff that is decent and will last that's why i'd like the digger um we're not, we weren't going to justify buying a brand new digger but we've got something that hitachi good japanese brand not huge amount of hours we don't want to buy something that's got ten thousand hours and it's just going to be problematic you want it to get it and it to work so we like to get things that are in decent neck. Sprayer's the next thing that's on the list, especially after the last few days I've had with it. It's tearing my hair out with that. A um, few more questions. The future of driverless tractors, good or bad? Ah, oh, there's conflicting reports whether it's good or bad. Um, good or bad? Like you get, it's good on terms of like a, well, the tractors will be expensive, but on like a monetary and staffing wise, on a big scale farm i'm not saying here but other farms if they if they have to hire in or if they've got 10 15 staff and they can half that number and um, staffing seems to be more and more of a problem everywhere in every every industry so if they can get use less staff it's probably more output for them but farm like the more people on the farm the more like enjoyable it is i find when it's busy times and there's everyone kicking about, that's when it's the most fun. When you're on your Todd driving up and down a field or you don't get any human to interaction, it can be a bit boring and dull and mind numbing. So there's, pro, there's pros and cons to it all, isn't there? Just heading up here to show you where there was a septic line that just got, I just filled that in half an hour ago. Um, do you get, did I get the sprayer fixed? You could have tried spot welding that new welder. It wasn't needing any welding, um, the sprayer. The issue was there was a bypass valve needing sorted, got that done, there was a micro switch in it. Um, filled in this bit, so there was one, there's a septic line, runs up, runs up the edge of this field, goes right the way up there, and there's a patch just in there, was that? So this bit got crushed by the fencers, they were putting in that strainer, and their track machine was out there, and this bit of the field lies quite low, so, the septic pipe was only kind of 12 inches under the surface. So that's why they managed to crush that. So I was in there two, three days ago. We got that fixed, didn't take too long. And then there was another bit up here, which used to just be like a meter wide hole that had been flushed away through the drain. So we dug that out and ended up digging quite a large patch. Also, by the way, go and click like, 19 likes. More than 19 watching, the wee thumbs up. Thank you very much. Here is the bit I've just done. So actually quite a neat and tidy job for me, considering. I'll turn you around. 
So right about here, there was a metre wide hole that was about a metre deep. And it's the same septic line that runs up there, runs up through there. So we dug it out here and it was choked all the way up there with um, the contents of a septic tank, which was lovely jovely. Anyway, dug all that out, put a plastic pipe in there. It was tile. There's bits of tile still kicking about. Could do with clearing them out of the field, actually. Hey, Bex. Anyway, yeah, dug it all out, put a plastic in there, filled it all in just half an hour ago. Job done, happy days. Neat and tidy, even kept the topsoil to put on the top, like I should have done with all the other jobs I've been doing. Um, so it's worked out quite well. The only thing Kev was spraying yesterday and I left the digger out there, so I gave him an extra telegraph pole to go around. Um, let me turn this around. Would I ever go to New Zealand to farm? Would I go to New Zealand to farm? Ah, maybe we should have gone when I was younger, but... I can't, ah, I can't really go now. I could go for like a few weeks in the winter maybe. But yeah, I can't really go for six months. Because if I was going, I'd go over the winter time. But I've just put on, well, the last two years, cows and calves. Can't really abandon dad with the cows and calves when it was my idea. So, nope, I won't be going long term to New Zealand. Um, good football skills, cheers. Um, waiting for Cami and Corfu. Yeah, Cami and Corfu, he's... He's ill at the moment. He's um, given given us some updates in the group chat, which are not for YouTube. Um, he's currently in a hotel. Uh, have you got any suggestions for anyone trying to get into farming? Yeah, join Young Farmers. Just look on kind of Facebook and whatnot for farming jobs. Get some experience. Doesn't need to be on farm. You could go work at a machinery company, a dealership. Try and be a mechanic. There's loads of apprentice jobs about. Go that route if you want, if you're keen on machines. There's plenty of ways in and there's loads of different avenues of farming. Doesn't need to be necessarily sat in a field in a tractor. There's a lot of different options. Uh, morning from Brazil. Hello, Fabio. Um, do you know, Will, I don't know how to say his name. Rubottom, is that how you say his name? Will, I do know. Um, Cowley Hill Will, is that the one you're talking about? I do know, he's, he's actually been up at the farm, he was he was on a trip to Scotland one day, so he, he fired in, that was, when would that be, nine, ten months ago. Favourite sheep breed? None of them. Um, how's the cow shed coming along? I was just saying at the start of the video, it is ordered. So hopefully this summer harvest time, we'll see a shed get fired up, which will be... Oh, the dog again. <whistles> Baxter! Some mud. Yeah, Cowley Hill will. What else we got? What work boot do you like to wear? Fuck, I don't have anything specific. These were just some cheap ones out of B&Q, actually. I should probably get some decent ones because I'm sitting in them all day. I think they were only like 30 quid, those. Can't beat that, to be fair. Um, uh, right, this flipping dug. Right, I better get back to doing some work or I'll be getting the sack. Anyway, cheers for watching. Like it before you go. Click like. Go on. Fire the likes up. And there'll be a video tonight again. I can't remember what it is. Cheers. Adios.